What's up, Blasters? Welcome to another Deadbeat Drum Lesson. Today we're going to continue on with double bass exercise number 12. Today's exercise is going to focus a little bit more on strengthening our core, and this exercise is also going to help with our balance, especially that left foot. Just like I've mentioned in my previous exercises, make sure that your throne height is adjusted accordingly. Once my feet are rested on the pedals, I like my legs to be anywhere between a 90 and a 45 degree angle. Remember, you also don't want to be sitting too close to where your knees are over your heels. Sitting too close is going to cause shin splints, and you also don't want to be sitting too far away. You might end up leaning forward because you're also trying to reach your cymbals and your drums and all that. If you do that for a long period of time, your lower back might feel that later. Something that's also very important to remember throughout this exercise is that you want to be relaxed as possible. Remember to breathe. You don't want to be tensing up, but before we get started with today's double bass drumming exercise, please do me a favor. Let's get to it. enjoyed double bass drumming exercise number 12. These double bass drumming exercises um, I believe any drummer can use to their advantage. It doesn't matter if you are just starting out or if you are you know an experienced drummer. One thing about double bass drumming is that you want to be consistent with your practice. By consistency I mean maybe 15 maybe to half an hour three times to five times a week. Doing so, I promise you will see progress because what you are working on and developing is uh, muscle memory. And in developing your muscle memory, you will have better control. But the biggest part of that is that you must have patience with yourself. This doesn't come overnight. So like I said, you gotta be consistent. Keep that in mind, have fun with it, and I promise you will see progress.